morning, Mrs. Goggins. Hello, Pat. Oh, hello, Julian. Come on, Julian. You can help me load these parcels into the van. All right, Dad. Oh. Mm, looks like it's going to be a busy day for me today. Good job you've got young Julian to lend a hand. Oh, dear. Sorry. Don't worry, Mrs. Goggins. I've got it all under control. Dad? Are you all right? Uh, uh, yes, thank you, Mrs. Goggins. Fine, thank you. Uh, right then, Julian. Let's load this lot up. First stop's the station. Maybe Mira can keep you out of trouble. Hi, Mira. Hi, Julian. Hello, Pat. Morning, Ajay. Uh, here's the post, Nisha. Thank you, Pat. I'm glad you've brought Julian with you. Mira was getting a bit bored. Well, maybe now they can keep each other out of trouble. <laughs> yes. Uh, can you pass me those coffee beans, please, Pat? Oh, dear. Sounds like there are only a few beans left. I'll have to go and buy some more. Oh, but I can't leave Mira, and I'm so busy in the cafe. Don't worry, love. I'll look after Mira. And Julian and all, if you like, Pat. Do you want to stay, Julian? Yes, please, Dad. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Ajay. I'd better get on. Bye, Pat. I'll be back soon. No problem. <laughs> so, who wants milkshakes? I yes. do, I do. Mm, looks like Jeff's not here. Wait a minute. What's that noise? Morning, Pat. Parcel for you, Jeff. I thought you weren't here. Until I heard a broom. We well, am just doing a bit of tidying up. The garden gets a bit overgrown when the children are on holiday. Oops. Charlie. What did you do that for? Sorry, Dad. It's hard to play ball on your own. Julian's over at the station cafe with Mira. Oh, Dad! Dad, can I go and play with them, Dad? Can I, Dad? Why, well, course you can, son. It'll give me a chance to get on with the garden. In peace. Yeah! <laughs> 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 <gasps> oh, dear! Dear, what a mess! Where's Ajay? Oh, um... Hello, love. Ajay, you were meant to help look after the kids, not be a big kid yourself. Sorry, love. We'll clear this up, won't we, kids? Ooh, ooh. It's not my day today. <laughs> I'll do it. Why don't you two go outside and play? Thanks, Mum. Bye, Dad. Uh, sorry. I mean, thanks. I mean, see ya. Boring. Oh, I've been looking for you two everywhere. What are you up to? Keeping out of trouble. Me too. What shall we do? Let's play ball. OK. We could do target practice. Bet you can't knock over a pile of tin cans from five metres away. I bet I can. Me first. Me first. Here we are. Greendale Farm. Eh? What's that strange noise? Hello? Yeah. Hello Hi, Pat. Pat. Hello there, Pat. Here's the post. Oh, thanks, Pat. So that's what's making that noise, Jess. Meow. We're helping Mum bake buns. Meow. This bun mixture is a bit wet. It needs more flour. I'll get it. <laughs> <sighs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh, dear. Look at all the mess. Why don't you two play outside while I clear up? Sorry, yes, Mum. Ball coming over! Look out! Hey, what? Who threw that? Sorry, PC Selby. We didn't mean to. We were only playing a game. You should be careful throwing a ball around the street like that. I'm going to give this to your dad, Charlie. Just try and stay out of trouble, eh? We will. Sorry, PC Selby. Hello, Ted. Hello, oh, but That must be the varnish for this chair. Looks like it. Grand. I can't wait to get started. But I need to finish sanding first. I'll give you a hand, Ted. What a great sound. Aye, oh, there's nothing like working with wood. Ooh. Ooh, look at the time. I'd best be off. Bye, Ted. See you later, Pat. Hello. Hi. Hi, Tom. Hi, Katie. Hello. What are you all doing here? Nothing. Nothing. We just keep on getting in the way. I was too noisy. Me and Mira made a mess. Yeah. We made a mess as well. And then and then I, I got into trouble with my ball. <laughs> oh, dear. Cheer up. I'm sure you'll find something to do. I, I suppose so. so. Mm. Now then, Sarah, you know what these are? Of course I do. They're horseshoes. Mm. That's mm. right. But they're for pumpkins' feet. <laughs> they're not for banging together. They do make a good noise, though. Oh, hello, Pat. How are you? I'm busy, I see. Yes, I've got a lot of letters to deliver. And poor old Julian and his friends are looking for something to do and... <coughs> Ooh! <laughs> Wait a minute. That's it. What is? You've given me a brilliant idea. Um, is it OK if I borrow a couple of these horseshoes? Well, of course. But what on earth for? <laughs> Come to the schoolroom at tea time and find out. OK. <laughs> Meet me at the schoolroom, all of you. I've thought of something you can do. Oh, great! What is it? You'll see. I've got a collection to make first. If you need to get home, just follow the music. Back where you belong, the music will take you there. If you need to get home, just follow the music. What's all this about, Pat? Yeah, what's all this stuff? Since you kids are so full of energy today and you've all been making a lot of noise, we're going to put on a concert. A concert? <gasps> but, but we haven't brought our musical instruments. Aha, we're going to try something different today. Oh. Listen to that. Doesn't that make a great noise? Oh, I get it. Brilliant. Do you 
you know what Pat's up to, Sarah? I've no idea. Come on, let's go and see. OK, settle down, everyone. Listen, quiet! Thank you, Jeff. Uh, uh, Mr Pringle. Now, let's take it one at a time. Off you go, Katie. Very good. Now, Mira, listen to Katie and see if you can play along. <sighs> Great. Now, Tom. Could be so much fun. Let's hear it again. Christmas, Mrs. Goggins. My word, what a lot of post. Well, it is Christmas Eve. I know, and it's the Christmas show tonight. Mira's playing Cinderella, and Julian's Prince Charming. Meow. And Jess is Cinderella's cat. Meow. Meow. You're very early, Ajay. I want to get to Pankaster and back before the snow gets too thick. I have to collect the Greendale Christmas tree. Oh, how lovely. The tree really makes it feel like Christmas, na? Aye. I better get a move on. <gasps> Bye, love. Take care, Ajay. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Hello, Christmas, Pat. Pat. We're grooming pumpkin. She's going to be pulling Cinderella's golden coach. Well, you two are doing a smashing job. He looks grand. Whoa! <laughs> Mr Pringle, I think I should be right at the front of the stage at all Whoa. times. Cinderella is the star after all. Uh, yes, Mira. I see. Hello, Jeff. Here's your post. What's going on? We're having a last rehearsal before the show this afternoon. Oh, uh, we would be if everyone weren't being so silly. Whoa! <laughs> I think I'd better leave you to it, Jeff. This snow is getting very thick. Come on, girl, no time to waste. Everybody in Greendale is waiting for that tree. Beauty that enters. Ugly sister coming through. Oh, now look 
what Jess has done. Oh, dear. Is that Cinderella's sleigh? It looks smashing, Ted. It's all ready to take down to the school. Grand, I'm off to the station. I promised Ajay I'd help him with the Christmas tree. See you later, Ted. Bye, Pat. We'll soon be home, girl. I hope. What do you think? What do you think? Not bad, eh? No, Charlie, it's awful. <sighs> You've completely ruined it. What's wrong with her? Dunno. Tidy-o. Let's give you a drink. Oh, no. There's hardly any water left. It must have frozen up. I have come to find the owner of this... Of this glass slipper. Uh, uh, of this, uh... Glass slipper! Oh, Julian, you should know your words by now. Sorry, Mira. Mira shouldn't be telling Julian his words. That's my job. Oh, dear. I hope that's enough to get us home, or Greendale won't have its tree in time for Christmas. Hello, Nisha. Is Ajay back yet? No, he's not. Maybe he's stuck in the snow. Don't worry, Nisha. I'll go and look for him. He can't be far. Oh, thank you, Bat. <laughs> oh, no. The line's blocked. Now, where did I put that shovel? It's not here. I must have forgotten it. What am I going to do now? Whoever's shoe fits this foot shall... No, Julian. It's whoever's foot fits this shoe. Uh, 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 Dad! Dad! Just a minute, uh, Charlie. Uh, uh, shoe. Oh. Oh, Sarah! I couldn't help it. Oh, no one's taking it seriously. We'll never put on a good show now. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. I can't make it through this snow. What do I do now? I know. Uh, oh. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Mira. It's not that bad, surely. Oh, Amy. I wanted everything to be just right for the show. But it's all gone wrong. <laughs> Amy! Amy! Sorry to interrupt, but can I borrow Pumpkin for a couple of hours? Pumpkin? But, Pat, you can't take Pumpkin. Cinderella can't get to the ball without him. I'm sorry, Mira. <laughs> I wouldn't take Pumpkin if it wasn't important. But we think your dad and the rocket might be stuck in the snow, and I need Pumpkin to go and find them. I'll get Pumpkin right now, Pat. <sighs> Would Dad be all right? He'll be fine. Don't worry. Here he is, Pat. Thanks, Amy. You'd better get back, Mira. You and your friends have a show to put on. It's not going very well. Oh? I wanted the show to be a big success, and nobody seemed to care, and I shouted. And now I think I've upset everyone. Never mind. 
Maybe now's the time to go back and start again. Yes. Okay, Pat. I'll do my best. Good girl. And don't worry, <laughs> we'll be back before you know it. Here we are. One golden coach fit to carry a princess. Hmm. Maybe not a princess, Ted. More like a postman. Eh? It's no good. This could take hours. And if I can't get home tonight, that means no tree, no proper Christmas for Greendale. <laughs> It'll be no laughing matter if we don't find Ajay and get you back before the show starts. That's it, Pumpkin. Steady now. Well, what do you think? Oh. Oh, dear. Here, Sarah. Let me help. Thanks, Vera. <laughs> and you and I, Cinderella, will live happily ever after. That sounds great, Julian. Uh, thanks, Mira. Everyone, let's give them a show they'll never forget. Yeah! yeah! Of course! <laughs> that sounds like. <laughs> Pumpkin! Ajay! I'm fat! Am I glad to see you? I thought I was going to be here all night. Let's get you home before the snow starts again. But I can't leave the rocket back. Don't worry. Alf will clear a path for her with his snowplow in the morning. OK, Pat. Come on, then. Let's get that tree back to Greendale. I wonder where Pat and Pumpkin are. It's almost time for the magic coach. Don't worry, sir. Leave it to me. Behold, Cinderella. Here is your magic coach that will carry you to the ball. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. No problem, Mira. I mean, cinders. Come, Cat, Meow. to the Prince's Palace. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Pumpkin! Oh, come on, we might still be in time for the show. It fits! Cinderella, you shall be my bride! Oh, that's Oh, Julian, I'm sorry I missed the show. And I'm sorry I didn't make it in time with Pumpkin, Mira. Never mind, Pat. Is Dad all right? Uh, he was right behind me. Hello! <gasps> Dad! Ajay! Sorry I missed your play, love. That's OK. It's just good to have you back, Dad. I've got a special surprise for you and everyone. Come on outside. Meow. I just want to say thank you to Pat, 
who saved me from the snow and saved Greendale's Christmas. Oh, oh Dad! You and Pat even put presents under the tree. What? But I didn't bring any presents. Did you, Pat? No, but I think I know who did. Oh, Jess, it really is going to be a wonderful white Christmas after all. Wow. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Meow, meow. Oh, meow. that's the lot then, Jess. Off we go. Meow. Oh, pet, wait. Uh, I forgot to give you this parcel. It's for Ted Glenn. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Goggins. Funny shape, isn't it? Meow. Oh. Goodness me, Pat. Was that you? No, it certainly was not. It was that parcel of Ted's. <coughs> Whatever can it be? <laughs> no idea. We'll have to wait till Ted opens it. See you later, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Pat. They don't look very happy, do they, Mum? No, I'm afraid they don't. Oh, dear. They haven't been giving much milk. And they do seem a bit poorly. I'd better see if Amy can have a look at them. Poor cows. Hello, Pat. Morning, Dr Gilbertson. Oh, hello, Reverend. How are you today? All the better for a nice cup of tea, thank you, Pat. Here are your letters, Doctor. And there's a package for you as well. Is your tummy poorly, Pat? No, Doctor. It wasn't me. It's this parcel of Ted's. It's making some very strange noises. <coughs> oh, I see. What on earth would make noises like that? <laughs> I don't know, but I can't wait to get to Ted's and find out. Bye. Bye, Pat. Strange sounds indeed. More tea, Vicar. This should do the trick for Alf and Dorothy. I just hope Pat's got that parcel for me today so I can get it finished. Don't worry, Jess. That parcel can't hurt you. What do you think, Amy? Well, I can't find anything wrong with them. They just seem rather miserable. Oh, dear. What can be the matter? Maybe they're bored, Mum. I don't think cows can get bored. Can they, Amy? <laughs> Not really, no. They're usually very happy just being out in the fields. They are bored, Katie. I'm sure they are. Yeah. <gasps> Come on. I've got an idea. Go on now, you sheep. <coughs> Get away with you. Shoo! Shoo! Well, you look at that, Dorothy. They've started on me broccoli now. Oh, dear. Hello. What's going on here, then? Oh, Pat. We're in such a pickle. The sheep have taken a liking to our green vegetables, Pat. Yeah, see what you mean. Oh, no. Shh. 
show. Leave my cabbages alone, you naughty sheep. What are you going to do? Ted's inventing summit to help. He'll be along in a bit. I'd better get over to Ted's now, then. I've got a very noisy parcel to give him. Good luck with your vegetables. Thanks, Pat. Hey up, what's that? Oh, it's you, Pat. You don't sound too good. <laughs> it's not me, Ted. It's this parcel of yours. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, what's in there? It's been scaring poor Jess all morning. Meow. What's in here, Pat, is a set of bagpipes. I didn't know you could play the bagpipes. I can't. They're for me Ted Glenn automatic sheep disperser. Watch. Hmm. The sheep go into the vegetable patch. They like the look of this juicy giant cabbage and move towards it. <coughs> they step on these bellows and... The sheep will run away, and Alf and Dorothy's vegetables will be saved. <laughs> That's amazing, Ted. Well done. Thanks, Pat. I'd better get this down to Thompson Ground right away. Good luck. Bye. Go on. You start. Um... Uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, I'll do it. <clears throat> Good morning, cows. This is your lucky day. Just for you, Tom and I would like to perform the exciting story of Little Red Riding Hood with puppets. I'm going to take this basket of cakes to Grandma, Daddy. Be careful in the forest, Little Red Riding Hood. Don't stop and talk to any big bad wolves. I won't, Daddy. See you later. Mwah! I don't think they liked it. Shh! Oh, it's very dark in this forest. Hello, little girl. What have you got in your basket? Are you a big bad wolf? Yes. Then I'm not allowed to talk to you. Go away! <coughs> no! No, not you! I was talking to the big bad wolf! It's no good, Katie. I just don't think they enjoy theatre. I knew we should have done Cinderella. Oh, wow. That one's just had me best beach root. Come on, Ted. We'll have no vegetables left at this rate. Don't worry. Nearly there. And if this doesn't do the trick, I'll eat me hat. There. The cows are going to love our skateboard tricks. Yeah. Come on, cows. Come and watch this. You go first, Tom. Ta -da! I think she liked it. Let's see what she thinks of your stunt, then. Did you enjoy that? Oh. Huh. Honestly, I don't know why we bother, Tom. Those cows are just cranky. Hello, Katie. Hello, Tom. Hello, Hello Pat. Pat. I hear you've been trying to cheer these cows up. They don't want to be cheered up. No. They're just cranky cows. They certainly don't look too happy. We 
What on earth's that terrible noise? <laughs> That's the Ted Glen automatic sheep disperser. Ted's using bagpipes to scare the sheep away from the Thompson's vegetable patch. Our cows don't look scared. <coughs> You're right, Tom. Hmm, I wonder. What is it, Pat? I've just had an idea. I'll be back soon. Oh, they're not scared at all. I just don't understand it. You'd better start eating that out of yours, Ted. And where did those birds come from? Oh, heck. It's attracting them, not scaring them off. Ted? Alf? How's it going? Oh, it's a disaster, Pat. Oh, dear. Ted, can I borrow your bagpipes just for a short while? You can <laughs> take them away for good. Thanks. Bye. And hopefully you'll take the crows with you and all. I was sure those bagpipes would do the trick. <coughs> well, I never. Oh, your invention worked after all. You just needed a different sound, Ted. Hmm. What's that funny thing? Bagpipes. They're a musical instrument from Scotland. What's this good idea of yours then, Pat? Well, I noticed your cows seem to like Ted's bagpipe sounds, and I thought maybe they were missing their home in Scotland. It might cheer them up to hear some Scottish music. I didn't know you could play the bagpipes. I'm not sure I can, but I'll give it a go. <coughs> Here goes, then. Pat's making rude noises. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice, Pat. Look at the cows. They love your music, Pat. <sighs> Thank you. I think you were right, Pat. The cows were homesick for Scotland. And the bagpipes made them feel better. I'll pop in every now and again and give them a tune. Will you play some more now, Pat? Of course I will. I think even Jess likes the bagpipes now, don't you, Jess? Meow. <coughs> Is there a letter? Yeah.